Hi everyone, welcome to Jargon Free Help. Now, like many of you, I've got an iPhone and an iPad and there's some really, really cool apps on here. And there are times I think, oh, wouldn't that app be really useful on the Mac as well? And thankfully, if you've got an M1 or M2 Mac, that silicon chip, well, guess what? You can run a lot of your apps right here on your computer. And that can be really useful. Yes, there are websites for many things and, and other apps. But take, for example, I use one on my iPad and on my iPhone called LumaFusion. It's really great for video editing. And it was reasonably priced as well. And then I discovered I got a new Mac. It's the M2. And I can now run LumaFusion here. So let me just show you this I was using on my iPad, mainly on my iPad, but also on my iPhone, and it's right here. And it pretty much works the same sort of way, okay, you've got to use the mouse instead of tapping and so on. And then it got me thinking about other apps that I might use. So one I really like on my phone here is called Night Sky, which I use for looking at stars and seeing what things might be out there, comets, meteorite showers, and so on. And I've got it on here, but maybe it'd just be handy to have on the computer and maybe you know on here it does have all the gyros and everything so it moves around with me giving that kind of augmented reality but just how would I get it onto the computer well one you can go to the app store and search for it so I could just type in night sky and you'll see it will come up and you've now got Mac apps at the top there and it's also listing a whole load of others and it's also got the iPhone iPad apps and you can see I've already loaded it and opened it here. Now the other way that you could do it is to go onto the app store on your phone or your iPad, find your app, let's go for night sky again and then when you tap on it, tap on your share button you could then airdrop it, message it, copy the link. Let's do airdrop. It's going to my MacBook Pro. It's sending it to it. And then it's going to open up here in my app store and I could then load it here. So there you go, it came up here. It sort of opens Safari first and then does it. There is an app that I use quite a bit on here called Transport for London, TFL Go. And that gives me status updates on our train lines, our tube, and also I can put in journeys as well and it will tell me the best journey. And I could do that just by typing that right in here, TFL Go, and there it is. And you can see I've already got it, so it's got my little download button here to install it. I do that, and I could then click on Open. Now, where do these all go? Well, if I go into my Finder and into my Applications, I can go down here. I will find that one called TFL Go. I can double click on it to start it. And then I could check right here. And then I could check my journeys right here. I can see there's disruption on the overground. I could click on that and see what it is and if it's going to affect me, which it doesn't. Now, it is down here in my dock. If I want to keep it there, I can control click or right click it, go to options and keep in dock and that will keep there as well. I'm going to do the same here with my LumaFusion. So not all apps are available. It depends on whether the developer has allowed it. But if it's an app that's useful and you think actually it might be handy to have just here on your computer, you can now do that for many of them. And I have to say, I have found this really useful. As I said, I'm now using LumaFusion here. I do use other things for editing as well. So if you want to add your own, that's how you can do it. If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe and come back for more.